Now we are going to discuss about the decorated design pattern in a theoretical manner using real life example and real time example. In the next video we will try to uh, cover the uh, sample program to explain decorated design pattern in a detailed manner. So first what is a decorated design pattern? So this decorated design pattern falls under structural design pattern. So structural design pattern and then this decorated design pattern is used whenever an object behaves, whenever an object needs to behave dynamically at runtime based on the request, then we can use decorated design pattern. So for example, this is a definition additional responsibilities for an object at runtime. So we are adding additional responsibility for an object at the runtime without affecting the base object. That's important, without affecting the base objects. That's the important point. So we will try to explain about this using some real life example. So for example, if you are going to some uh, supermarket and if you are buying some cone, what you do is you would ask the customer, you would ask the food server to serve the ice cream based on your request. So this is a base ice cream or base cone. If suppose if one of the customer is asking the I need some vanilla ice cream. So what that food vendor would do is we will try to use that base and then he will, he will uh, try to fill the vanilla ice cream. So here this is the base object. This base object is converted to custom object based on user request. So here the base object is added with some additional responsibilities. Here vanilla ice cream is the additional responsibility at the runtime. So this is one of those example. Suppose another customer is coming, another customer is asking about, he is asking that he need, he needs the chocolate ice cream. So here the vendor is filling the chocolate at the runtime. Here chocolate is the additional responsibility added to the base of the at the runtime. So this is the another uh, scenario in our real life. So we will try to cover another example. If suppose this is the plain pizza and if a customer is coming to the pizza shop and uh, the customer is ordering I need some chicken pizza. Here the chef, food chef what you do is you would take the base object which is a plain pizza and he will add some extra responsibilities in our case which is chicken at the runtime dynamically that's important that's the more important when it comes to decorated design pattern so decorated design pattern when should we use a decorated design pattern so whenever an object should be treated dynamically at the runtime based on some criteria then we can choose the decorated design pattern so we will try to cover decorated design pattern java implementation in the next uh, video please try to watch that video also for better understanding. So thanks for watching this video.